Hello peoples, welcome back to another video. Today, you've probably already seen the title, but still, I this is an obligatory YouTuber intro. This is a little different video than usual, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to turn an animated texture from Minecraft or from a texture pack into a GIF that you can share online and everything. You see, I came across this problem because I couldn't find a tutorial for this on the internet, and I wanted to make a GIF of my Darksaber in order to share it on my CurseForge or Planet Minecraft page uh, as one of the previews. So if any of you are familiar with um, making texture packs, you'll know that to have an animated, an animated texture, you're usually going to have a strip of frames. Um, I use Paint 3D. Uh, it works for me. There are probably better things, but yeah, here you go. This is with all the frames of the texture. And usually, if you just leave it like that, you're also going to need an MC Meta file which basically uh, tells the game in what order to read the frames and how fast to read the frames. If you don't tell it what order, it just goes from top to bottom. But yeah, you're going to have all these frames. What you're going to want to do is you're going to... I'm going to open Paint 3D. That's regular paint. I'm an idiot. Okay, you're going to want to make a new one. Then what you're, go what you're going to want to do is make the canvas. Then you're going to make sure that it's 16, or at least if you're making a, a 16 by 16 texture pack, especially if it's an animated texture, then then you're going to make, want to make it 16 by 16. However, if you're making a 32 by 32 texture or a 128 by 128, whatever, you just make the canvas the size of the thing. You're going to end up with your canvas here. and you're probably, here's what you're probably going to do. You're probably going to want to make the transparent canvas, right? So that it's, you know, just your item, whatever you're doing. However, with mine, because the outside is white, it's going to be the same color of a lot of really typical things. I'm going to make sure to add a different uh, background of my own so that it doesn't blend in with most websites that have a white background. So I'm just going to copy that, right? I'm going to select the 16 by 16 space that takes up my item. I'll do copy. And all I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to do paste. Now you're, you're going to have to do this for every single one of these frames. I'm not going to do that for every single one of these frames because it's literally the same thing multiple times. But here, what you're probably going to want to do is fill this in with the brush and make sure you, uh, you don't cover up any pixels that actually are part of the animation. After you've filled in the background, you're going to want to go over to the canvas and then you're going to want to change the, the proportions again because if you keep it as this low quality, it's going to blur the image when you turn it into a GIF. So what I like to do is I like to make sure that I have resize image with canvas checked and then I'll go 400 by 400. I do that just because um, that's kind of the high quality I'm used to. Okay, once you've done this, you're going to want to menu, save as. You can save it as anything really. Um, just make sure that you have it in order. As you can see here, I've already done it with every single one, but this is DS1, so you just save it as DS1. I even gave it its own folder just so that I wouldn't lose track of it, but you just need to make sure you have all the frames here. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to this website, website gifmaker.me. Now, what you can do here is you can upload all the frames of your image. So if I go to pictures and DS for Darksaber, and I just upload all of these, all of the frames, boom, I put them in. That works for me because... With my animation, it just goes from one to the next to the next. However, some have the have them play in a different order. You're going to want to upload each image in the order in which it plays for one loop. Um, yeah, that's about it. Then for the animation speed, I have mine at, if you look at the MC Meta file for this one, it's usually going to say frame time 2. If you don't want to get the exact thing, it doesn't matter. You just kind of move this around until you're happy with it. Um, if you go like that, it, it's faster. If you go like this, it's slower because the larger the number, the more time it's going to stay on one frame. I'm going to keep this on 100 because that's how I have it in game because one tick is 50 milliseconds and I have it on frame time two. So if it were just frame time 
default, it would be on 50 milliseconds, and it would be that fast. However, I'm just going to do it on 100 milliseconds. Then I'm going to create GIF animation. It'll wait for a moment, and then you can do download the GIF right here. Download the GIF, it'll download it. And as you can see, we can open it with pictures. And there you go, you have a GIF, and you can upload it anywhere you want. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this is useful for someone since I wasn't able to find a, a um, uh, tutorial anywhere. So yeah, subscribe and like and all that stuff.